Let's talk about everything that I've been loving. I have so many things to talk about today, it's not even funny because I skipped a couple months. So in that time, I have discovered and tried and bought a bunch of things that I really, really, really love. So let's talk about them. First up, I have some shirts from a brand called Relaxed LA. They have such good basics. I got three like baby tees. They're just like a more fitted, more cropped t-shirt. I feel like this type of shirt, something more fitted and more cropped, looks a little better with things that aren't super high-waisted. And I've been experimenting with more mid-rise to lower-rise things. Not super low-rise, but for sure more mid-rise. I also got just a plain white cardigan and I love all of the pieces i love the quality of everything the way that everything fits so yeah very happy that i discovered this brand and i discovered this brand along with a lot of other ones that i wasn't aware of before that are kind of like smaller brands through an app called choosy which just curates a lot of i don't know if they're all smaller brands a lot of them are bigger brands but i love apps like this that just do a really good job at curating specific brands that you may not come across on your daily scroll so yeah relax LA. If you guys haven't checked them out, definitely do. Really like the quality of the pieces that I got. I also picked out a couple of things from LA, but the two that I've been wearing the most are these like chambray pants, I think they're called. They're like a denim inspired kind of like loose fitting drawstring pant. They're very comfortable, they're like a sweat pant. And I also picked out this halter top from l &A. I love how it's double lined, very stretchy, very comfortable. And it's actually one of my favorite silhouettes on my body. So I need to get back on my halter top game. I have some black mules and I kid you not, they're probably the shoe that I pull out the most whenever I'm styling something. They are so versatile. So I wanted a light color mule. I came across these from Dolce Vita and I love them so much. And another thing that I want to add about Dolce Vita, so comfortable. They add something to the sole that is like a cushion or something. You can walk forever in these shoes. They are so, so, so comfortable. It's not just the fact that the heel's very short. So I got those. They go so well with everything. I've been loving them with denim on denim, but pretty much anything that needs like a heel. And I also got these, which I was very iffy about the whole mesh trend, but I explained this in a TikTok. I don't own light colored shoes like this. I'm more of like a dark color girl when it comes to shoes because I feel like, you know, they get less dirty, they go more with everything. But the fact that this is, it's like an ivory cream color. So that also makes it a little bit more wearable than something that's dark white. But also when you put your foot in this shoe, it kind of turns into sort of a nude, like tan color which automatically makes it so much more wearable than a true opaque either cream or light or white colored flat so that is part of the reason why i feel like these shoes are so 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 wearable way more wearable than if i would have gotten something that's opaque like a cream opaque color so that's something to consider if you're somebody who has had white or light colored shoes in the past and you just never wear them and i honestly think it goes for every color like not just light colored ones i think that if there's like a fun color that you want to try but you feel like it's just too much it just becomes a little bit more wearable in my opinion so i went thrifting about a month ago and i picked this shirt up and i've been wearing it so much you know obviously any button down i feel like it's, it's so versatile i could wear it with what i'm wearing today just like a fitted top some white shorts, just throw this on top, but also I've been wearing it on its own, mostly with denim on denim, that's the reason I got this. And yeah, men's section at the thrift store. You guys, I mean, if you've been here for a while, that's not a surprise to you. You know that is my jam. Been wearing this with everything, love it so much, but there are so many brands that have come out with a denim shirt, but honestly, if you just go to your thrift store men's section, I'm pretty sure you're gonna find one or like seven. This bag by Songmont, I talked about it in a recent video, you guys already know. I love this thing so much. Songmont in general, I have like four bags from them and I love each and every one. I wear them so much. Their stuff is so wearable and versatile. It just goes with everything. Every single outfit, especially for the spring and summertime, this canvas with the leather, it just, it goes with everything. Very easy to style. And it's also super practical. I can throw so many things in. It has these two little pockets. It has a pocket on the inside and I just fit. I actually wore this yesterday. I fit my whole life 
in here. Even if I take a diaper bag out, there's always a couple of things like when I'm walking out the door that I have to throw in the bag. My son's stuff, my stuff that I forgot, like th there's always something that I have to throw in my bag. So having big bags like this is just so helpful for me at the moment. So been wearing this so much it's my bag of the month so since my last favorites video i've tried so many beauty things and i have loved a lot of them first thing is this serum from allies of skin they sent me this to try because i recently mentioned how much i love their moisturizer it's the moisturizer that i use every single day i love that thing to death i talked about how i had to stop using it during pregnancy because i just don't like to use a lot of skincare things during pregnancy and then i started using it again and i immediately noticed a difference like that it is a moisturizer that does every single thing that i need it hydrates it plumps it firms it gets rid of fine lines it literally makes me look so much more youthful i use that moisturizer every single day i raved about that so allies of skin was kind enough to reach out to me and asked me if i wanted to try a new serum from the same line so this serum kind of goes hand in hand with this moisturizer however i use this moisturizer for daytime this serum i would use at night you're supposed to use it during the day as well i did for a little bit but this stuff is so effective that i only used it at night and it was fine this serum is like botox in a bottle sometimes it hurts me in my little heart when i try things that i really 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 love that are expensive i do 100 think that they're worth their price because i haven't found anything that works as good as their stuff for like firming and just giving my skin what i look for in skincare this in combination with the moisturizer that i use is just a match made in heaven if i had to pick between the two the serum is more potent but it, it's specifically for firming so if you're looking for something that's really going to help with like fine lines and wrinkles and firming or like sagging skin definitely recommend the serum if you're looking for a treatment type of thing that provides a lot more than just lifting and it's something that you can use every day and it'll replace your moisturizer more bang for your buck i guess the moisturizer is great but if you can afford the two my lord it is just so 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 good and i only used it for one month imagine if i like use this for a year I got the Milk Lip and Cheek in Quickie and it is one of the only things that I've been using, pretty much the only thing that I've been using for blush and I use it on my lips. I dab it on my lips before putting the lip liner that I'm going to talk about and then I go in with my Road Lip Balm and that's pretty much everything. I applied it this morning and it's still kind of going strong. It's faded a little bit but I like what it looks like when it fades. I recently did like my own little color analysis. I went on Google and kind of just followed a diagram and came across the fact that I am a dark winter and I've slowly been changing a lot of things to accommodate my color analysis. Obviously not everything, you know, there are times where I wear tops like this that aren't part of my color analysis and definitely wash me out but I just like it. It. but for sure with makeup it just makes such a huge difference i really really strongly suggest that you guys do your own color analysis you don't have to do a professional one just go on google but yeah mauvey tones and like cooler tone makeup i have just noticed makes such a huge difference for me personally I've also been using a lip liner by a brand called Swede, which I had never heard of before, but I really, really love their lip liners. They remind me of the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners, which I also really love. So I've been using the color Lulu, which is what I'm wearing today, mixed with Quickie underneath, and then on top, the Road Lip Balm, and it fades so beautifully. It is such a beautiful, like, mauve pinky color. I love it. I recently gave the K18 mask another try. I've used it before, I followed the instructions, and I hated it. But I feel like I've narrowed down the routine that works for my hair, so I actually do use conditioner before using this. You're not supposed to use conditioner when you use this mask. You're supposed to use this mask in place of a conditioner, but I've been using my Jupiter shampoo and conditioner, which I really love. I've talked about before. I also like the Kerastase ones that I mentioned in my last favorites video, but the Jupiter shampoo and conditioner just works the best if you have a sensitive scalp. Like if you have dandruff or flakiness or any dermatitis or just any sensitivity in your scalp, this shampoo line is amazing. And I normally wouldn't use the conditioner paired with the shampoo. I would just use the shampoo and a deep conditioning mask but lately i've been using the jupiter shampoo then the conditioner just a little bit of it 
and then I rinse that off, you know, just shampoo and condition as normal. And then when I get out of the shower, I put like three pumps of the K-18 into my hair. I have just noticed such a huge difference in the way that my hair looks after it's styled. There are times where I don't even heat style my hair and my curls just look very healthy. My hair just really sucks this stuff up. It loves it so much. So yeah, if you're somebody that has tried this and you didn't like it before because you followed the instructions you need to try it a couple of times and see how it works like with different techniques this is the heat styling tool that i've been using the most you guys know i talked about my timo in my last video i still use that one but that one i like more for a straighter blowout look this one i like more to really be able to manipulate and make curls in my hair and they last the curls last so well you could also do it with the timo but i feel like this one since it is round it does a way better job so this is is a just a round thermal brush this is by wavy talk and i will say this is the one with the attachment i have a little hair tie on it because this one your hair can get stuck to it if it goes down here like if i keep my hair up here it's not a problem but i just put this just in case if you're not interested in using all of the attachments which i don't use any of the other attachments to be honest there is a version that is only the brush so i would get that one if you don't want all of the other attachments my dyson you know it does a good job but in this miami weather okay like nothing holds up unless I use heat just on my hair because I do have like curly and wavy and dry hair so I love this so much and combined with the products that I've been using it just it works really well for me and my style lasts until my next wash day I wash my hair like twice a week it just holds up so well with this so yeah I've been interchanging between this one and my waver for the spring and summertime I just love to pull out my waver it gives me like mermaid vibes so I got this one from Amazon which I've really been loving. So if I'm not using this, I use my waiver and that's pretty much everything I've been using. And this sunscreen is the one that I've been using lately. It's the Madagascar Centella Water Fit Sun Serum and it's SPF 50. If I'm not using this one, I'm using the Color Science Flex. If I want like a quick tint all over my face, I use the Flex. But this is the one that I've been gravitating towards ever since I got it because it leaves my skin like nothing else okay i'm slowly trying to switch all of my skincare to korean because i just see the difference okay not just korean just asian skincare in general they're at the top of the skincare game i have noticed such a huge difference after switching my oil cleanser which i'm going to talk about in a second and this so i just want to keep adding korean skincare to my routine but this stuff is so good it goes on undetectable there's zero white cast for me it looks so beautiful on the skin i haven't been using any tint I've, I've just been using my concealer to spot conceal and as my base i haven't been using any base at all besides this and it's just stunning on the skin and it wears really beautifully as well and it doesn't get like super oily for me it just gets slightly dewy but nothing crazy i've been using two concealers i've been interchanging between the two i got the hourglass concealer and i also got the tower 28 concealers and i love them both the hourglass one is slightly heavier but still beautiful i do think that the shade that i got is a little too white or pale for me right now so that's probably why i'm gravitating towards the tower 28 ones but they both do such a good job at concealing under the eyes and concealing all over the face definitely products that you can use as your base i don't know i just feel like the older that i get the less makeup i want to wear so i've just been using the same concealer that i use underneath my eyes to spot conceal on my face i just get like a different shade and like mix and kind of customize my shades so been loving the tower 28 but the hourglass one is also very 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 good just a little bit heavier in my opinion i feel like this is the star of my beauty routine lately i mean everything the combination of everything definitely but this powder by huda beauty is 100 percent worth the hype i was using the hourglass veil and i love that thing so much but in terms of making your skin look flawless like if you're wearing a filter this powder is the best thing that i think i've ever tried in terms of powder loose powder like it is so good they have a bunch of colors i got the color pound cake and i really really like it it's what i'm wearing today and honestly like it photographs so beautifully it looks so beautiful in person like you can stand this close to me and you really wouldn't be able to tell that i'm wearing powder like it just seeps into your skin and blends so beautifully with whatever makeup you're putting on your skin i love oil cleansers as my first step cleanser i use that before getting in the shower and then when i get in the shower i use 
my second like gentle cleanser. For my oil cleanser, I was using one from Amazon, but I recently switched to this one by Anua, which is a Korean skincare brand. It's so good. The main thing that I notice is how good it cleans my pores. It just does something to my pores and my skin. It makes it look like baby skin. And after switching to this oil cleanser, I just, I noticed a difference. Like I just know it's doing more for me than the one that I was using from Amazon. The one from Amazon is still good, but there's just slight differences that I noticed. They also have a, a regular cleanser. They have like a two-step, the oil cleanser and a regular cleanser, which I didn't know about. But when I run out of my cleanser, I'm just gonna switch to these two products. So I recently got an exfoliating glove. Before this, I was using a little silicone bristle brush that I got from Amazon. I switched over to this exfoliating glove. The first time I used it, I did a full, like thorough exfoliation. So now I just use it every single time that I take a shower, pretty much. I just use it a lot lighter so that it's not like really deeply exfoliating. But when I wanted to deeply exfoliate, I just go in, you know, a little bit more abrasively. And I have just noticed that my skin has gotten more even and it just looks a lot softer it feels a lot softer i've been combining this with glycerin like a vegetable glycerin that i found on amazon i just put this on wet skin when i'm done showering and it retains my moisture so well to a point where i don't even have to wear lotion which if you know me you know how much i hate putting lotion on it just takes forever to put lotion on okay i'm over it so this is just so fast and it does such a good job of retaining moisture and absorbing moisture that I don't even have to put lotion on. I mean, I can if I want to, but I don't have to, which is great. My Wonder Oven. I haven't talked about this. I've had this for months already. This replaced my toaster and I cook pretty much everything in here. It has an air fryer option, which is what I use the most, and it just does such a good job. You know, I also love, because I was in between this and a regular air fryer, but I can use this for more things. It reminds me of an adult version of an Easy Bake Oven. So aside from the ones from Ritual, I've never had a good relationship with probiotics for some reason. My body just doesn't really tolerate them very well. And I recently came across this brand called coconut cults and i've been buying their little chocolate mousse version it's a little sour because it does have probiotics in it so it's like a yogurt but it is so good i have one spoonful of it after dinner every day it helps with so many things i've noticed a difference in my digestion i also lost a bit of weight i don't know if that's because of the probiotics or just me switching things in my diet in general i've been trying to avoid seed oils and a bunch of other things but introducing this every single day i feel has also really helped with digestion and just like absorption of food you know i know i also really love this grab and go container i call it my grab and go container because every time that i put a bag away i just empty out the contents of my bag in there and i like to keep anything that i would need to grab and go and put in my bag so that i don't forget anything like a nail file lip gloss nail oil uh, something to clean my sunglasses hand sanitizer and things like that and I find that it's really convenient and I haven't forgotten anything ever since I implemented this little thing. I just use a little clear container. I keep it where my bags are and every time that I'm gonna put a bag back, I empty out everything from my bag into there so that I don't forget anything in my bags. I hate having a lipstick in like every bag and then I can never find my lipsticks or my lip liners or anything because I like to just always have whatever I'm wearing on my lips, I throw it in my bag and then it just gets lost in my bags and then I'm like searching through all of my bags to see where it's at and I hate that. So I find that this is so convenient. I've also been loving this necklace which is from Monica Vinader. It's actually a necklace and a pendant that they have. These bangles are also from them which I've been wearing a lot lately. I just really, really love Monica Vinader jewelry. So that's everything for this video. Those are all of the things that I've been loving at the moment. I will see you guys in my next video.